A very good morning to all of you. Thank you very much for taking the time from your precious morning to join us in celebrating the World Parkinson's Day. It is very nice to see people from different countries in this region coming to support, support this April 11 as one big Parkinson community today. I already see uh, many of you have dropped messages in the chat group. Continue doing so. Let us know where you are from. Uh, and we are really delighted that you have, uh, you know, joined us today. It gives me a great pleasure to introduce to you three amazing Parkinson specialists and leaders from the Asian Oceanian region. First of all, I would like to introduce Professor Raymond Rosales from the Philippines. He is the current Asian Oceanian Section AOS Chair of the International Parkinson's and Movement Disorder Society. May I pass this time over to you, Professor Raymond Rosales. Thank you. Hi, Hui. Oh, I'm trying to stretch here. I'm trying <laughs> to do my best, you know. Uh, well, in behalf of our president, uh, Dr. Francisco Cardoso, who is going to chair the Western Hemisphere mm -hmm. event, uh, we welcome you to the Eastern, event, uh, Eastern Hemisphere event. And of course, uh, we are happy and to start off by thanking our patients, and then, of course, uh, I, it is not uh, without uh, saying that we have here the executive officers of the uh, MDS, IPMDS AOS. And also we have here uh, the uh, chairs and the presidents of the affiliate societies of various countries in the Eastern Hemisphere. And uh, we do welcome you all. And so this is just a, a very light, uh, hopefully an occasion not really to defeat Parkinson's disease, but in a way, look at it as, as, as a conduit upon which exercise should be part of our uh, program because, uh, you know, Parkinson's is not only a motor disease, it has non-motor manifestations and exercise, which is the target of our event today, is one and foremost uh, part of the therapy therapeutic program in Parkinson's disease. Now, of course, uh, I, I, I don't like to, to steal so much of your time regarding this, uh, this introduction, if only to, to tell you one thing, if you are a Parkinson's disease patient or if you are relatives, the studies indicate that you have about 2.5 hours per week to do an exercise. If you have such a conglomerate, it's good enough. You can do Tai Chi, yoga, Pilates, dancing, uh, non-contact boxing, qigong, all of this you can do. So at this point in time, the focus of our World Parkinson's disease, which is the first global event of IPMDS for you, will now start. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Suketu Kandar, and I'm a practicing movement disorder neurologist working in Northern California. I always tell my patients that the key to a successful treatment plan consists of three things. Number one, making sure that you have the right diagnosis and optimizing your medications, but that's just one part. Number two, making sure you have the right team surrounding you to help you in the best way possible. That would include your neurologist, your therapist, and maybe any other discipline that might actually be needed at the time. And then number three, and maybe even most important, is that you as the patient, as well as your loved ones, be empowered, partnered, and educated so you can be as informed about Parkinson's as possible. So again, to reiterate, making sure you have the right medications, the right team, and the right information. Happy World Parkinson's Day. My main advice is to take your time and so impose your rate to the world. This advice is worth from the very beginning of the disease when you need time to internalize and metabolize a diagnosis that you have just received. So take your time 
all the time that you need and start a new life at your own rhythm, a rhythm for your activities and your feelings. Just not let the others decide your time and timeline because you are the chief. I am Dr. Romario Ramos from the Philippines. Since most of the people I treat for Parkinson's disease have difficulty sleeping at night, I advise them to schedule their physical therapies in the morning so as not to interfere with their sleep. Also, I advise their caregivers, who usually are family members, to take turns in caring for their loved ones to avoid burnout. Aside from their motor symptoms, we physicians should also look after their mental health and spot any signs of depression or anxiety at the onset so we can treat them immediately. I believe that together, as one, we can improve the quality of life of people with Parkinson's disease. It can be difficult to establish daily exercises that benefit your well-being into your daily routine. Life can be busy and sometimes it's difficult to find the time. One tip for people with Parkinson's might be to try and connect these exercises with something that you're already doing regularly. For example, you might want to do your vocal exercises in the morning whilst you're having a shower, after you've brushed your teeth, or perhaps whilst you're waiting for the kettle to boil. Hi, my name is Barbara. Hi, my name is Joana. We are speech pathologists from Campus Neurologico in Portugal. We are here to talk about cough during swallowing liquids because it's a common and uncomfortable sign of swallowing difficulties in PD. We are here to share some tips to avoid it. If your head is backward, you will have more chances to cough. If you cannot choose the cup or the bottle, take one sip of each time and rectify your posture during swallowing. If you can choose, prefer a low cup, a bottle with a cup, or a nosy cut-out cup. Hi, I'm John Dean. I'm a speech-language pathologist from the U.S. Now, many people with Parkinson's disease report having difficulties with their medications, what we would refer to medically as pill dysphagia. A lot of reasons why that could happen in Parkinson's, but I'm not here to talk about that today. Instead, I want to ask you to maybe put the water aside for a moment and take your pills with a puree. So I have a little bit of applesauce right here. You just lay the pill right onto there and you put it onto the tongue. You're not gonna chew it, you're not gonna move it around, you're just gonna take it and swallow. It goes right down, no issues, no catching. And I contrast that if you're drinking water when you're trying to take a pill, you're now trying to control this liquid, which is going to go wherever it wants to go, while you're also trying to control this pill, which is small and hard and has edges. It just doesn't work very well. You're trying to control what we call a mixed consistency. So bypass that with a puree. Now, if you are dealing with problems with your medications, that's a great reason to seek out a speech-language pathologist that knows a thing or two about Parkinson's. Use and asymmetrical breathing can be one of the problems in Parkinson's disease. It can be caused by stiffness of the ribcage, round shoulder, stooped posture, or decrease in movement sense. We are going to introduce a simple exercise to correct these problems. Secure an elastic band over the lower ribcage, which is about three fingers breadth up from the last rib. Keep your knees fixed over the side of the chair. Keep your back straight. Now try to take a normal breath in, feel how much chest is expanding and whether it is symmetrical on both sides. Now breathe in while stretching out the elastic band in all directions and breathe out. In a count of five, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, one, two, three. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Repeat five times per set for three sets twice a day. Every breath counts. You will improve. Hello, my name is Alexandra and I am a physiotherapist from Portugal at Campo Neurologico. Using the lift can be a difficulty for people with freezing of gait. Use the next tips to facilitate your daily life. Count your steps while waiting for the doors to open, marching in place with high knees to prepare yourself to begin walking. When the doors are open, proceed to the lift and turn in the same rhythm. 
stop with your feet apart and begin walking on the spot to exit the lift, then count the steps to walk forward. Greetings everyone, happy World Parkinson's Day. My name is Julia Wood and I'm the Director of Professional and Community Education for the Lewy Body Dementia Association. I live in Philadelphia in the United States and I've got a tip um, to help you get items out of your wallet if you're having trouble with that. So you grab these little sticky tabs and you're gonna take one and we're gonna put it on cards that you have to get in and out of your wallet. So then what you can do is slide this in and when you need to get them out, maybe you're in a hurry, feeling pressured, people are behind you, you can grab that with a big pinch, pull the card out. The nice thing too is they are removable. So you can take them off if you need to swipe the card and get it back in your wallet. So hope that helps you the next time that you're out and about. And remember, the best therapy is using these little tips and hacks to continue to do all the things that are meaningful in your life so you can live your life to its fullest. Be well. Gait impairments are common and disabling in people with Parkinson's disease. But luckily, there are creative ways to improve walking, these so-called compensation strategies. We have developed a website, walkingwithparkinson.com, where you will find an overview of the known compensation strategies, including background information. In addition, you will have the opportunity to send in videos yourself of new compensation strategies. In this way, the website forms an interactive platform where people with Parkinson's disease and healthcare professionals can learn from each other. By doing so, we hope to make it easier to find helpful ways to improve walking. Hello everyone, I'm Filipa and I'm a physiotherapist at CNS Campus Neurologic in Portugal. In honor of World Parkinson's Day, I'd like to provide some tips on how to avoid potential risks associated with swimming. To begin with, avoid diving. Using the steps to access and exit the pool is safer. Make sure the maximum depth of the water does not exceed your shoulders. Last but not least, always bring someone with you. Activities are more enjoyable when done with a friend and, if something goes wrong, we have someone by our side to help. Surround yourself with things that make you happy. Make phone calls. I love making phone calls. I love to dance. I love music. I love getting outside, being outdoors, and look at those beautiful clouds. Just so beautiful. Woo, and that hot tub. Get yourself a hot tub if you can. Eat good foods, be thankful for your friends and all the love and support that's out there for you. And, you know, even with Parkinson's disease, there is still so much in life that we have to celebrate. Olá, meu nome é Carminho, sou o Ian Parker. Quando recebi o diagnóstico, senti o chão fugir de debaixo dos pés. No fundo, só consegues pensar no impacto que isso vai ter. Tentas imaginar como a tua família vai reagir. O que vai começar a tua carreira? A tua rotina? Porque na tua cabeça, a realidade como te conhecias até agora, já não existe. O processo de assimilação é bastante difícil. Já para não falar em toda a angústia que sentes. É literalmente um mundo no e nunca estás preparado. Mas depois, com o tempo para digerir tudo e refletir, percebes que o Parkinson não é uma fatalidade. O que é preciso é relativizar. Ouvir o teu corpo, definir prioridades, deixar-se de fazer freitos e encarar cada obstáculo com a garra de quem sabe que o vai vencer. A verdade é que todos os seres humanos têm limitações. A chave está na adaptação. Ter Parkinson só significa que tens que tratar melhor, comer melhor, pôr parte do stress, dedicar-te às tuas paixões. Podes fazer tudo na mesma. A vida com Parkinson é vida. Pensares o contrário, mas seja injusto com aquilo que topes. Os teus sonhos e desejos continuam válidos. Não há limites para o futuro. O importante é que te mexas e nunca pares. Everyone, it's nice to see um, so many familiar faces in this uh, forum. Um, it was a little bit last minute in the making, but I really commend uh, you know the MDS for um, taking up this effort. Um, you know, besides our treatment in the clinic with medications um, from the neurologist, of course, 
treatment from um, our allied health therapists, physiotherapists, speech and language uh, pathologists, um, occupational therapists, dietitian, et cetera, et cetera, is, is so important as well. And as you um, heard at the very beginning, um, you know, amongst the tips given was also self-management. And um, part of that, you know, a critical component is to make sure that you're keeping active and always moving. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing the subsequent videos um, on the physical, more physical therapy aspects um, of managing PD. Thanks, Raymond. Thank you all. Hello and happy World Parkinson's Day. My name is Julie Lankiewicz and I am a speech language pathologist at Shirley Ryan Ability Lab in Chicago. I'm here to run through some simple voice exercises with you today to help you maintain and improve your voice. These exercises can be done either seated like I am or standing. If you are seated, please make sure that you maintain a good posture throughout. Also make sure to have something to hydrate with throughout. Our first exercise is going to work on three things. It's going to work on your volume, your breath support, and your respiratory drive. We're just going to say, ah, uh, but we are going to hold it for 10 seconds. Here we go, taking a good deep breath in. Let's say, ah, uh, all together. Ah. Uh, Perfect. We're actually going to do that five times, taking a break in between, of course. Our second exercise, we're still going to use our ahs, but now we're working on our pitch and our intonation to help during conversation and just overall social interaction. We're going to do a glide with our ahs, so we're just going to kind of go on up and come down together. Let's do an ah glide working on our pitch and intonation. Here we go. Ah. That one we want to do five times as well. Again, taking a break in between. Our third and final exercise is working on our over articulation, our volume, and our pacing. We're just going to count by fives all together up to 100. We are going to take a break in between as we go along to allow more breath into our lungs. Here we go, counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Stop and take a break. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Stop and take a break. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Stop and take a break. 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. This one we want to do three times. Again, taking rest breaks in between. Those are your three simple voice exercises that you can do to maintain and improve your voice. Happy World Parkinson's Day once again from the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab in Chicago. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Josefa Domingos. I am here today to make you sweat. So I want you to get up from your chair, your couch, wherever you're sitting, and let us do some exercise. Now we're gonna do something uh, quite simple. Three movements that we're focusing on. We are going to be punching. We are going to be squatting, bending those knees nicely. And we also are going to be doing some kicking in different directions. So let us do this. You can't get this wrong, okay? Join me. Let's start with some punching. I want you to stretch out those elbows. I'm keeping my hands loose, so nothing of fists with rigidity. Just loose. Let's try to move around in our space. Stretching it out. Now, I can punch forward. I can punch up. I can punch down. I can punch to the side. You choose. It doesn't matter. As long as you keep moving. Our goal here 
is to raise those heart rates all the way up other side good let's come down to a nice squat Ooh, going low see how low you can go bending those knees coming up let's go into kicking i'm kicking forward but i can kick sideways <laughs> forward forward side side make sure to keep yourself safe if it's low it's low it's okay if it's high high push yourself kick kick move around use your space back to our punches let's double them up two side Turn that foot. Beautiful, guys. Just one. Turn that foot. It's important. Let's get some kicking. Side. Each movement and don't forget to smile. Beautiful work. I hope you have sweated a little bit and back to the program. Hope you have fun today. At this point, may I call on friend Iro, our uh, secretary of AOS for some tips, additional tips. Hiro, you're on. Hello, I'm Hiro Wu from Chang'an Memorial Hospital, Taipei, Taiwan. It's very happy to see so many friends around the world here. And also I enjoyed the exercise last time. And uh, today I just want to say something about the exercise. The exercise is very important part for healthy living for everyone. For people with Parkinson's disease, exercise is more important than healthy. That's why, because the reason for the exercise can induce dopamine and dopamine can let us make more happier. Exercise and the physical activity are vital component to maintaining the balance, mobility, and also the activity of daily life. It can improve many PD symptoms like body kinesia, rigidity, and also the posture instability. Many studies have shown that people with PD who start exercising earlier at, at minimum 2.5 hours per week experience a slow decline in the uh, delicate uh, of life and also compared to the start later. So establishing early exercise habit is very essential to overall the, dis the, the disease management. And what kind of the exercise you can do? I think the most important one is to do the most that you like. And also we can uh, continue for many times. And uh, some tips you can uh, integrate in your exercise program, like aerobic activity, training, uh, training, and also the balance, agility, and also some uh, multitasking, and also the flexibility. Just like me, I use this kind of the, the, the term to do when I was uh, in the clinical and also exercise, and we can stretch my, my, my side. So the most important one, just uh, choose the one you like the most. Before I start, I, 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 I uh, finish. Let's say loudly, Parkinson, I will exercise every day to live with you peacefully. And uh, welcome to join us and uh, happy Parkinson day. Namaste, bye. 
Thank you, Euro. Thank you. Indeed. Uh, we're happy to hear from you and these uh, helpful tips. Uh, at this point, uh, allow me to, uh, to, 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 to share with you something about our association. IPMDS, International Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders Society, has its mission to really uh, uh, improve uh, patient care, care of you patients uh, through education, research, and these things uh, are uh, in, in our programs. And you can see this uh, in various ways in the website. At this point, at the, at the present time, we have about 12,000 clinicians who are members of the IPMDS, International Parkinson's and Movement Disorders Society. And today's event was a global initiative, the first World Parkinson's Disease Day initiative by uh, our association. Indeed, we are committed to the care of our patients. So therefore, we enjoin you to join this uh, exercise tips uh, that hopefully you can carry on with your daily lives to improve your quality of life. The shortest way to say this is there is no exercise prescription. We cannot prescribe to you an exercise prescription, but we can. We can introduce and share to you tips. And these are the tips that you can do so that uh, we hopefully uh, improve your quality of, of lives. And uh, of course, uh, uh, I, I, I'd like to end this by, by uh, in inviting everyone to the International Congress in Madrid, Spain, September 15 to 18 this year. And uh, more information on the MDS educational resources for professionals and patients to follow. Uh, to, you can, you can uh, always uh, see uh, to follow in a short video. And lastly, uh, I'd really like to thank uh, Dr. Aihu here and especially the MDS uh, Communications Oversight Committee and Health Professional Special Interest Group for planning this activity. So uh, thank you very much. As I uh, finish my word here, let's move on to the closing part. Thank you. I just would like to uh, maybe take this opportunity to uh, thank uh, Professor Raymond Rosales, uh, Professor Shen Yang Lim, and Professor Yi Ru Wu for joining us, uh, you know, taking away time from your very busy, hectic schedule as usual. And also to all uh, the AOS leaders who have joined us this morning as well. I would also want to really take this opportunity to thank all uh, persons living with Parkinson's, caregivers, therapies, doctors who have submitted you know, many good and interesting tips for this event. Uh, I The committee actually had a very hard time deciding uh, which tips to be shortlisted for the video today. Uh, but uh, we have many more tips to come and it will be released on the MBS website. And we especially would like to thank uh, Josefa Domingos at Re Rebound University Medical Center in the Netherlands and also Jennifer Goldman at the Shirley Ryan Agility Lab in Chicago for their collaboration with MBS and in preparing these very wonderful uh, exercise videos. Uh, I, I think today's event uh, has been a success because of a great teamwork uh, from, uh, you know, many, many uh, good people from around the world who has joined and unite their energy in supporting the World Parkinson's event. Thank you very much.